Well, hello there. This is Bakari Shivanu. This is Mac with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I'm glad to be back. I'm going to do a quick video about Bartender 4. Yes, Bartender 4 is ready for Big Sur, and it's been some really good, significant changes to the application, and you definitely want to uh, know about it. So basically, let's go through and look at it here. The uh, the you know you know Bartender. If you if you're not using it, you should be. Uh, Bartender basically organizes your applications in your menu bar at the top here and if you like me you have i have like over a dozen different uh applications in my menu bar that i access from there and if i put them all in the menu bar it would just be way too cluttered and so what bartender does it helps you organize what you see and don't see in your menu bar but you can access those items very very easily so in bartender 4 they did a complete redesign and that means that bartender 4 only works in big sur so it doesn't work in the previous uh, os system but you can download uh bartender 4 for 30 day trial free trial and the uh the, the full license is 15 dollars and i just went on ahead and paid the 15 dollars because i think it is worth uh, the redesign and I'm running it on my uh, MacBook Air right now. I haven't put it on my uh, iMac yet, but it uh, looks, looks really great um, so far. So anyway, when you when you open up bartending, you know, in the preferences, so you, you know, you right click on here, and then you open up preferences. And then this is the preferences here and it has these different areas. The main area is the menu bar layout here. And, and you have these different sections that makes it really easy to drag the different applications to different sections. So you have show menu bar items. That means those items are always shown no matter what. And then here's ones that they hidden the hidden menu bar items. These are hidden until you go up to put put your cursor up into the your uh, menu bar, and then they drop down, and you can see them that way. And these right here are always hidden in the menu bar, but you can still access those as well uh, now by just kind of um, doing a right click and. Thing. Oh, you're doing a quick search so you can do a quick search or you can just find them right here as well So if you have like, you know a couple dozen of them You might have to type and search but you can have all the all the ones that are even hidden here uh, you can just do so like the uh, uh, Like spotlight kind of right do do a quick spotlight search and then and then you know trigger them or um, Start them from there. So that's the real really nice thing about the new uh, layout here. So, you know, you can take these. So, for example, I just downloaded ScreenFlow on my MacBook Air. And so this is a, uh, these are, um, you know, applications that have not been added yet. So I can add it either to, to show in the menu bar items here. Um, and you see it just popped up or I can have it as, you know, hidden in the menu bar. So it really, this is really nice because you all, you know that there are some applications you just don't really access on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis. And so this makes it really nice to just put the ones that you access the most, and then everything else is kind of put in that drop-down uh, menu bar here. And then if you want some that are totally hidden, but you want to get to them, you can just put them in that, um, in, in this, this slot right here. So really nice and clean. Um, very useful. I really like this. And then um, let's go to uh, let's see show for updates. Oh, they also have um, another section here where you know the uh, the um, you know bartender can show your battery level, uh, your time machine uh, when time machine is backing up, uh, when you've lost uh, connection with your Wi-Fi too. So you can enable those as well and do that. And then you have your hotkeys for. Uh, triggering uh, bartender in terms of you know if you if you you know you can do it with a, 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 a keyboard shortcut or you can just you know put your cursor up here in the menu bar and do it that way but it has, also has other shortcuts there and uh, there's some advanced things here you can read those and check them out and then up here in the general you just you know basically you know large bartender to lo at, uh, log in um, you can change the uh, the icon for uh, bartender. You know, you can do all kinds of things there too. So it's really not a complicated application at all. Basically, what you need to do is, you know, you want if you, you you want to use it if you have a lot of um, you know applications and icons in your in your menu bar. And and I really like that because you can access a lot of different things. But you just need need a way to organize that. So really really good upgrade. It is in the 
public beta section right now. Uh, so, but you can download it and get your uh, a free trial here. Um, and then it's just really great. And as a matter of fact, I think it says here that you can get unlimited in beta. So that means that it might be unlimited trial in the beta. And then when it has a full release, I guess that will be where you have to pay for it maybe. So anyway, great application, you know, really give um, the, 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 the developers of Bartender kudos for uh, putting this out. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the other developments they're going to be making. So, hey, if you like this video, give me a like um, there. And uh, if you're new to my channel, give me a subscribe. And also, I'd love to hear from you. Give me some comments uh, below. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.